the uh, Bedouin lifestyle, an ageless lifestyle that's been going on since certainly before the Bible. It's a way of life that they like. They like that freedom to be able to get up and go where they have to go. In general, the Bedouin are what has come to be known as fourth world people. In other words, just people who happen to be there, uh, generally not populous and not organized. And unfortunately, this culture, which is an ancient culture and a culture which uh, lies at the roots of even Judaism and, and Islam to a large extent, uh, will disappear in our time. One of the great significances of a tent is the hospitality that they feel uh, is suitable to a tent. In other words, it's always open. Whoever comes is welcome. Take people from a tent like this and put them into a house, it's like putting them into prison. They're completely unsuited to urban living. Since the Bedouin traditionally have no written uh, deeds to their land, but ownership has always been common understanding among the tribesmen, uh, their claims will not be taken into consideration and they will lose their foothold and presence in the deserts. You probably will see very few Bedouin in deserts in another 20 or 30 years, any more than you see Native Americans in, in the western part of the United States if you travel around. The best things in life were in the past and the, the object of the present is to imitate the past. The future will take care of itself.